Cuphead exists to lure you in with its cute, charming visuals, only to come back at you hard with a high level of difficulty. While fair, the game does deliver an extremely challenging experience that will be sure to frustrate some. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! No! But also provide gamers with a chance to improve if they're willing to put in the time. Danny from the Famicast here, and this is our review of Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch. Now, to kick things off here, Cuphead actually has a pretty dark premise. So the innocent looking Cuphead and Mugman aren't the cute happy-go-lucky characters that they appear to be. They're actually gambling addicts that are willing to exchange their souls for a chance at some cold hard cash. So after losing an extremely high stakes game with the devil himself, our heroes are tasked with tracking down some other deadbeats that owe debt to the Prince of Darkness. Obviously, I'm not the first person on the internet to sing the praises of Cuphead's visuals. Uh, the game looks absolutely amazing. The artwork's great, the animation's fantastic, and this whole 1930s aesthetic is perfectly crafted. Now, my image of old cartoons is something that is just kind of like a little bit creepy, but kind of cute at the same time, and Cuphead really nails this. Uh, even on the performance side of things on the Switch, I had little to no issues with the game overall. There were a few times where I did notice a little bit of slowdown, but these were things that were pretty few and far between. I could probably only count them maybe on one hand. Uh, I did notice that the loading time seemed to take a little bit more time than what they did on the Xbox One. That didn't really hinder the experience for me or anything though. The music is also top-notch here. There's so many great tunes that really fit into this visual aesthetic perfectly. The sound effects also play it really nicely here, too. Now the overworld here is beautifully crafted and full of secrets. Uh, if you're like me, you might not have realized that the majority of the levels in Cuphead are actually boss fights. Uh, but the game does also offer some kind of more traditional stages here as well. Uh, these run-and-gun stages, as they're called, they are more traditional platforming type of experiences. And of course, just like the rest of the game, these things can be pretty intense. Uh, some of them have some really interesting mechanics and environments and stuff like that, but they kind of play second fiddle to the bosses. Upgrades here also play a vital part in progression. Accessing the shop gives players access to a number of helpful goodies that enhance firepower and can also enhance your abilities. Uh, basically, going to the store is something that you're going to want to do to get better stuff. Gameplay doesn't really disappoint here either. The controls in Cuphead are super, super precise. Uh, anytime you find yourself taken down by an enemy, it typically uh, doesn't feel cheap. I found myself understanding what I did wrong, and I really did try to learn from my mistakes. Sure, some of the boss encounters can be a bit frustrating, but if you persevere, that makes defeating them feel all the more satisfying. Uh, that's the key to success in any of the levels or bosses here. Just basically keep moving forward and improving based on your past failures. Cuphead is a brutally difficult game and you will die very often. At the end of my first run at the game, I clocked up about 307 deaths and probably would have had more if it weren't for the ability to restart levels. However, I never felt that these deaths were cheap. The game is all about pattern recognition, with the boss-like characters, and then honing your skills to take them out. If you can come to grips with that, you'll be able to dive right into the game no problem. If not, well, you might be better off appreciating the awesome art and animation from the comfort of a YouTube video. Final score for Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch, 9.5 out of 10. As always, thank you for checking out this video. If you like what you see, please give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We've got tons of podcasts, video reviews, special videos, and a whole lot more. Again, this has been Danny from the Famicast. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you later. Well, Cuphead and his pal Bugman, they like to roll the dice. By chance they came on Devil's Game, and gosh, they paid.